The head of Portland Police Association says cutting more funding from the police bureau is not the answer as Portland still sees a record number of shootings. This also comes as the Portland City Council prepares to vote on next year's budget. Let's go to our Lindsay Nadrich joining us live now with more on this rise in gun violence. We just saw a couple of cases just last night, Lindsay. Well, Daryl Turner, the executive director of the Portland Police Association, says he hasn't seen this kind of gun violence in Portland since the 90s and thinks we're on the precipice of a gang war. Well, we need to talk about the elephant in the room, which is gang violence. Portland is now seeing shootings happen in broad daylight. Just yesterday, a man was shot and killed in the afternoon near the corner of 118th and Sandy. Witnesses tell us they heard 12 to 14 gunshots before they saw two cars speed away from the area. Then hours later, a man and a woman were shot on Northeast MLK Boulevard near Bryant Street. Both are in the hospital. Right now in 2021, we're, we're heading for a record we've never had before. More, more uh, shootings that we've ever had before, ever. The city says the increase of gun violence in Portland mirrors the increase that's happening nationally. In an interview with us, Commissioner Joanne Hardesty said the rise in shootings is totally unrelated to the disbanding of the police bureau's gun violence reduction team. District Attorney Mike Schmidt pointed to the pandemic as a contributing factor, but Turner disagrees. Our elected leaders can no longer blame this, uh, turn a blind eye to this and blame this on a pandemic. It is directly related to defunding of police, defunding of our staffing levels, defunding of units such as the gun violence reduction team, uh, defunding of our, our, our staffing levels that have made us anemic, made us to the point where we can't even respond to calls for service in a timely manner. In addition to the newly created Enhanced Community Safety Team that works to solve gun crimes after they happen, Portland police are currently working with community partners to create a patrol unit called the Focused Intervention Team. But because of already limited resources, police say it's difficult to find a way to staff that team. Turner says police are being asked to do more with less and that he doesn't think it should be a choice between funding community groups or police. He says both are needed to curb the gun violence we're seeing. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News.